Welcome to Binge Watchers, where we talk about the stories and characters we love and the shows they live in. My name is Ron, and let's talk about season two of the Netflix original, Santa Clarita Diet. So just to recap, this show tells the story of a fairly normal family. Joel and Sheila are husband and wife. They live in the suburbs with their daughter, Abby. They live a pretty routine life, that is, until Sheila dies and comes back to life as the undead. Now she has to eat human flesh to survive. She's incredibly impulsive and sometimes dangerous, but other than that, she feels great. She's more confident, she looks better, she feels better about herself, but her situation does present the family with some challenges, like murder. Murder is a challenge. Season one was mostly about how this new situation came to be, how Joel, Sheila, and Abby are dealing with it, and a little bit about a search for a cure. Season two is kind of more of the same, but actually a little bit better. Most of the comedy in this show comes from how casually they talk about dismembering bodies and horribly murdering people and putting them in the freezer. In season two, you also have Abby in on that. Joel and Sheila are desperately trying to parent her and maintain the moral high ground as parents, but that's kind of hard to do when mommy just ate someone in the kitchen. Santa Clarita Diet has a very specific style of acting in it, mostly with Drew Barrymore and Timothy Oliphant. They do this thing where it's almost on purpose bad and not natural, partly because of this super weird situation they're in, but I also think that it's an attempt to make the casual murder conversations even funnier. And it kind of works, mostly. Some of it, I think, would have been way better if they just played it straight, because it's definitely a running gag in this show that gets old at some point. It's a bit like telling the same joke over and over again. Having said that, for the most part, it's still fun. The main objective with this show is just to have fun, and they do that well, and season two is even more of a wild ride than season one, because they can get even crazier with the things they do. The story is pretty much the same as season one. They try to figure out ways to deal with their neighbors. Sheila is trying to compose herself and not impulsively murder anyone. And Joel just wants a normal life, but he's starting to realize that he's never gonna get that. Joel is still probably my favorite part of this show. While this definitely doesn't feel like a natural role for this actor, that's probably why it's so much fun and it's so funny. I think Sheila is way better in this season than she was in season one. The whole on-purpose cringy performance thing really did not work for me with her on season one but now she's extra crazy and murdery, so she just goes full on over the top, which I think works way better. And you can see that she's having more fun with the role, which makes it more fun to watch. One of my favorite things about this show is that it's almost a parody of suburban dramas. You have this couple that desperately wants to be normal and boring, but they go hunting for Nazis, or they have to get some dude's bile, or finding a body part in the freezer just becomes a regular thing. But the show always still comes back to how love keeps us together and the power of friendship even when mommy just killed and ate the neighbor. I really don't have too much more to say about this show. This is a fun, quick watch, just like season one. It's 10 episodes, about 30 minutes each. It does feel repetitive at some point because they're essentially just telling the same joke over and over again. But I did like that this season focuses more on Abby and how having a zombie as a mom is affecting her. She feels like much more of a real character than Joel and Sheila. One of my favorite moments in the season is when she tells her dad about this boy that she's gonna go on a date with or something, and he tells her, you do realize that your mom and I are constantly looking for people to kill. Bottom line, should you watch it? This one's pretty simple. If you liked season one, you'll like this season. It's pretty much more of the same. I will give this show this. It doesn't feel like any other show out there. It's very much doing its own thing, and it feels original, which is always refreshing, and it's probably worth watching for that alone. It does get extremely repetitive. The show essentially has one joke that it keeps repeating, for the most part, it remains funny, but it's also a good thing that this is such a short watch. I do hope that season two goes in a bit of a different direction. Judging by the way that season two ends, I think it will. You can probably tell that I'm not super excited about this show. I thought it was fun, 
But the bottom line is that whenever season three comes out, I'll probably be watching. What about you? Have you watched season two of Santa Clarita Diet? What were your thoughts about it? And also, is there another kind of horror type comedy that you like, either movie or TV show? I want to watch more stuff from this genre. If you're going to be talking about spoilers, then it's it's really not that kind of show, but use spoiler tags in your comments anyway, just out of decency. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. And you can find me on Twitter or Instagram or TV time. Links to everything down below. You can also find our Discord server where we chat about TV and it's a lot of fun. And if you're finding binge watchers for the first time, welcome. I'd like to invite you to join the binge watchers community. Come talk about TV with us. It's a lot of fun. Subscribe to the channel. But in any case, keep binging and I will see you next time.